And I'm nine it. What? Yeah, and I'm nine years old. I'm the co-founder of TennisCollective.com. That's right there. That is right here. And guys, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video, comment down below if you like it, and subscribe my channel if I'm not done yet. So today we are gonna make the video. I'm making the video of C references. So without any delay, let's get started. Dab. But before we start, um, as you can see this, your Mac will sleep soon unless we plug into a power outlet. So I just give me a second. I will quickly um put my MacBook on charging. Oh, okay, so Sanan Bhai's laptop is on, and now let's just one second. Come on. Oh, yeah, so now let's get started. Dad, I will minimize my screen. Oh my god, oh my god, okie dokie. And I've opened Google Chrome here with W for schools and scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, learn C plus plus. We will reference. Mm. Okay, so let's get started. Oops, sorry. Huh. Okay. See, creating references. So, let's learn how to create references. A reference variable is a reference to an existing variable and it is created with this and operator. Okay, so this operator is known as an and operator. Okay, guys. And why do we make these references variable? References variable basically means like making another variable and get um, um, taking the same value of the um, before variable. So that's no, um, that's how we um, that's called references variables, right, guys? So now let's learn how to make these references variable. So here we are making a, a variable food and assigning its value to pizza. Then we are doing and meal equals to food. Whenever you we want to make the reference of um when we are whenever we are making the reference of the variable, then before our um before our variable we will give our um, and operator. This is the and operator. Let me show you how to get the and operator. And operator. Okay. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, so you will get the and operator by clicking shift and mm, and we press the and operator. Wait, I cannot see which one. Okay, so you're gonna press shift seven together and you will get the and operator. Okay, okay, so now, so this is how we make the reference to an existing variable, uh, right? Now, now we can use either the variable name food or the reference me reference name meal to refer food variable okay so so um, now see um food's value and uh, meal's value is the same value pizza and if we print food we will get pizza if we print meal, we will get pizza. Okay. Like um, now, 
let's get a memory at the rest. Memory at the rest. Memory at the rest. Memory at the rest. Okay. C plus plus memory address. Memory address. In the example from the previous page, the AND operator was used to create a reference variable. But it can also be used to get the memory address of a variable, which is the location of where the variable is stored on the computer. When a variable is created in C++, a memory address is assigned to the variable. And when we assign a value to the variable, it is stored in this memory address. To access the memory address, use the AND operator and the rev result will represent where the variable is stored. So this is, um, this is saying um, that like before we were learning how to make the reference so that two variables value can be same right um if we don't want to write the value so how can we make the reference so that was um we were making reference but you know from the and operator we can also know what is the memory address of this um of the variable now what is the memory address now memory address like in our computer um like this um this full variable and um food and pizza that is also um saved in something right so that is known as the memory address now whenever we assign a value to the uh, value to a variable that's where it is assigned um Assign a memory address in which the value has is been stored. Now, from the memory address, we can um, um like sometimes we only have the memory address and it's quite useful, right? So now let's learn how can we um take out the memory address. So here is an example to learn how can we access the memory address. String food equals pizza. We are making variable food and assigning it the pizza. Now the pizza, this pizza has been saved in a memory location. Right? When we do see out and food, when we are doing the same variable and food, so from this we will get the memory address. Right? Like first we were um, using the and to um, get the value, the same value, right? But if we give here in the C out and and then we give the same variable name, then we get the, the memory location. So here, here as we can see, we are getting to know that where is pizza saved? What is the memory location name? Well, pizza is saved. So look, see. Now, note the memory address is in hexadecimal form, zero x. Know that you may not get the same result in your program. Okay, it's saying that the memory um, location is always in a hexadecimal now what is hexadecimal that it starts with zero and x okay and it's saying when we reload it then the memory location will be changing like first it was something like zero x now so now a zero x six sign kind of something and now look the memory address has changed so that's what it's saying that first you have to know that it will it will all memory location will start with 0x which is known as hexadecimal form and and whenever we reload the memory locations will change okay why is it useful to know the memory address references and pointers which you will learn about in the next chapter are important in c because they give the ability to manipulate the data in computer's memory which can reduce the code and improve the 
performance. The two features are one of the things that make C++ stand out from other programming languages like Python and Java. So it's saying memory address is why is it useful to know? It's saying it is useful to know because um, from that you can manipulate the data and you can make your code more shorter and more improved and more better, right? Now this is a way that um, um, C++ is a very high programming language because this is a way from which we can reduce our code and manipulate the um, data in the computer's memory. Right? Isn't it cool? That is why C++ is a very high programming language. Now this is an this now um, this this thing only makes C++ stand out. It looks better from the other programming languages like the Python which we are already using and Java. We can also learn and we, if we want to, right? So this wasn't wasn't it fun learning about references? So how can we get the same value in another variable? And how can we access the memory location? And why is it useful? I had a lot of fun. So guys. Comment down below if you had a lot of fun and you were interested a lot and like my video, share my video, comment down below if you like it and subscribe my channel if you are not done yet. Bye guys, see you soon. But don't forget to subscribe, subscribe the one